From today's TMJ4. This is breaking news now on your side. That breaking news, a huge fire at a food processing plant in Racine County. Chopper 4 is live over the scenes. Flames are shooting from the top of the buildings. That fire is so intense, it's forcing neighbors to evacuate. It's a sprawling complex of buildings, hard to get trucks close to these flames. Also, we are told there are metal buildings, so it's very difficult to get water inside. But this has been a very challenging night for dozens of firefighters who are battling this serious five alarm blaze. Again, at the Echo Lake Foods plant in Burlington. Our Charles Benson is there live, and Charles, this has been a difficult night. It's been a devastating fire on a brutally cold, windy night. Four hours into this fire, take a look. You can still see the smoke coming from the plant, and that means there's still fire inside the plant. Come down a little bit lower to the street level, and you can see all those emergency vehicles. It has been a parade of tanker trucks from one side of town to the other, trying to bring as much water into that area and put it on that plant. It's fair to say this is going to be a long night for firefighters. It's a massive fire at Burlington's Echo Lake Foods plant that has turned into a massive response and big worries. There are some ammonia tanks up there that are exposed. They are starting to leak. So we're starting the evacuation process. We have called in two more alarms. So you're, I thought you were at five already. We're at five already. We're calling in two more. So you have how many counties helping you here? There's four counties right now who have sent in or are sending in personnel. Big flares could be seen shooting into the night sky. The black smoke so thick firefighters disappeared with the blink of an eye. What's your primary concern with these cold conditions and the wind? It's keeping the firemen safe, keeping the uh, the area up there safe and the walk on. We have DPW crews up there with salt now to try and keep the the, the roadways you know safe. Uh, it's just not trying to get it knocked down. Knocking it down is turning into an all night battle. It's too early to tell if the plant will still be standing when the smoke clears. This is going to be an all night thing for you, Mayor. The way it's going now, it's going to be all night, yes. Okay, everybody got out of that building okay? Everyone's out of the building as far as I know. There were no injuries involved, either when firemen or people in the building itself. And those were amazing pictures from photojournalist Sean Farrell, who was able to get very close to that fire. We do know that there are two. Uh, crews that work inside that plant, two shifts. So people were working at the time when this fire started around six o'clock. But as you heard from the mayor, everyone inside the plant was able to get out. We're expecting the mayor down here. He's going to give us a briefing in the next few minutes. So we'll get an update on how the fire crews are doing. But for now, Mike and Carol, this has just been such a huge fire down here and all hands are on deck. Yeah, true blessing that everybody was able to get out of that building. Thank you very much, Charles. We're covering breaking news from Racine County. Echo Lake Foods is on fire in Burlington. Charles Benson is live with more on this. Charles. And we're going to get the very latest information from Mayor Bob Miller, who has been at the scene. Talk to the fire chief. You've seen the devastation. What is the latest? The latest is the fire is still ongoing. It's still active. Uh, they're having a tough time getting to the actual source of the fire as of right now, but they're still working on it. Uh, we've contacted several, multiple, several local fire departments bringing in tanker trucks. And our problem now is getting water up to the scene to get it fought. Yeah, you're saying you have 25 different fire departments from four or five different counties? That's correct. All right, and what about the concern about the environment and with the ammonia tanks and the, the people that were being evacuated? You said how many homes had to be evacuated? Ten homes in one apartment building, about 80 people total. Uh, we do have Racine Hazmat Fire Department on the scene here. They set up monitoring equipment around the plant, so we are monitoring the situation and air quality. So, Any indication if that plant has been destroyed? Is there a chance to rebuild? You're talking 200 jobs on the line here? The plant can, anything can be rebuilt. Uh, the way it stands now, it's not going to be open for quite a while. And any idea how this happened? Did it happen during the, the, the second shift? It happened during the second shift. At this point in time, we do not have a cause, and we're not looking for one to get things put out and cool the scene down. Okay. Mayor Bob Miller joining us live here to give us an update. And one of the interesting things that's happening here in Burlington, Mike and Carol, is that you can occasionally hear the sirens of the tanker trucks because they're coming from the side of the uh, lake that we're on and they go all the way over there to the other side of the lake. And that's where the main activity has been right now to try to get as much water from this side to that side to help the crews there put all that water on the, on the, uh, on the plant. Mike and Carol? Going to be a long night out there. Thank you, Charles Benson and Mayor Miller.